You join us back at Shennington for the Super Prix and drama on the formation lap of Junior TKM, Jake. Yes, Bradley White is one of three drivers along with Lewis Rushforth and Adam Jones to break down effectively on the formation lap. They'll all get started again, hopefully, and they'll take up their positions at the grid towards the tail end. So James Pashley and Joe Taylor will go off the front row with Abby Pulling and Joe Fowler on the second, William Layton and Lee Whittingham on the third, just in front of Ross Deal. But let's keep a look out on the back end of the grid. Christian Briley starts way down in 19th. And obviously now we're going to see the number six, Bradley White, charging through from the back of the grid. We'll just double check he's there. There he is, his hands in the air, frustrated. He thinks, no doubt, that he should be allowed to get back into his original starting position. No such luck, he'll have to charge through from the back. That's William Layton we ride on board with, watching Abby Pulling going side by side with the 51, Lee Whittingham, down to the hairpin for the first time. And it's James Pashley who leads the way here with Joe Taylor in second position. Then the 31 of Joe Fowler. There's so many drivers that could win this one. It is one of the most competitive junior TKM final races I think we're ever going to see. They won't admit it, but Joe Fowler and Abby Pulling, particularly two front runners at the Super 1 British Carnian Championships, will be delighted if they knew about it that Bradley White, they won't know at the moment that he's way down the back of the field, but they'll be delighted that he is as Josh Sheriff goes up the inside at turn one on Lee Whittingham, I think that is the 51, Jake. And I think Whittingham's going to lose the position again, is he? No, he manages just to hold on in front of William Layton, but we've got a new leader. Taylor now leads from Pashley and Fowler. Taylor's managed to get his way through, not sure how that happened. Whittingham goes wide and up and over the top of Pulling's wheel. That was very close indeed, and Whittingham has definitely lost out. Let's have a look at it again. Pulling makes the move to the inside. That's a clean overtake. Whittingham's got pushed out wide there in the battle with Sheriff, and up and over goes Whittingham. Group captain Lee Whittingham. We will be rebranding him for the rest of the season. He was all four wheels off the ground, flying through the air. That's the 86 of Ross Deal, I think that is. Yes, it is. So Deal's gone through. Here comes Pulling again up the inside to try and take another place. Abby Pulling having the season of her life here in the world of British karting. Junior TKM Championship potentially on the horizon for her if the results play out her way. Bradley White, however, is the man to beat in that championship. And at the moment, he is struggling down the order to make his way through. Pashley, though, back out in front of Taylor. Fowler still right on there. Bumper in third position. Then it's Sheriff William Layton running in fifth position. Our cameraman just in front of the 49. Abby Pulling, really close fight in the top six. Pulling out of position after that uh, bit of contact up in the hairpin. She's lost a bit of momentum, got a lot of work to do. But if anyone can, Abby can. She is, I've said it before, Jake. Up the inside, here she comes for fifth place. She is the best female driver I have seen for many a year, maybe forever. She could be the best ever. She's only 13 years of age, don't forget. She's got another few years in junior karting yet. She doesn't win the British title at this level this year. She's surely going to do it over the next few years as we see a battle going through the chicane for second place. But uh, just holding on is the 19 car, Abby Pulling is, I have to say, as we look back, can we see Bradley White? We can't see him in the picture. Bradley White this year, if anyone beats him, they deserve it because up the inside for Fowler, he goes for second place and he's made that stick. Bradley White is the most consistent driver in karting, notwithstanding he's having a bad day today. He is unbelievably consistent at the British Championship level. Arguably the most consistent, well not arguably, he is. He wins more heats and pre-finals. Not won a final yet this year, televised final. There goes Pulling! As we see, I'll be pulling up to four. But Bradley White is the most consistent driver in British karting these days. And if Pulling does beat him this year, she'll be able to uh, say she had a, the toughest of battles against Bradley White and came out on top, but I'm not sure she will beat him. If anyone does, they'll win the title, that's for sure. Well, Bradley White is still a long, long way back as Pulling goes for another overtaking move, this time on Taylor, and she's up to third position. Brilliant work. Leighton now on the back of Sheriff. Sheriff might not hold on to fifth position here into the first corner. Leighton is through. Very nicely done. Look at what Pulling has managed to achieve in the last lap or so. She's got past Leighton, she's got past Sheriff, and she's got past Taylor. She's up to third position now. There's only two left, Pashley and Fowler. This could be an incredible run to victory. Another place made up in the Stratford hairpin. Great view from the drone once more. 
to come down into Bruno Chicane. All the carts streak through the picture. Pick out his favourite driver, Christian Briley, on the nine. Just going through the picture. He's another driver well out of position. We know he's a lot better than we're seeing from him today. As Leighton up the inside for fourth place. William Leighton having an absolute cracker. Yeah, he's really on fire here at Super Prix in the... Uh stakes here for this fantastic race he has really shown his hand and he's doing a cracking job Christian Briley a long way back Taylor running wide there at Cafe Corner Briley's a long way back but where is Bradley White I still can't see him as I look through the field he hasn't really made up the progress that he would have been expecting to and it's a jostling for fourth position in the hairpin Leighton is still out in front of it all Sheriff is now up into fifth position I believe yes he is just in front of Taylor and then next up is the 51 of Lee Whittingham who's recovered well to seventh position Position. And we've got a new leader. Fowler has got past Pashley. Pashley's going to try and get him back, but Abby pulling is right there. We've got a three cart brawl for the victory. And up to fourth position again comes Josh Sheriff. This is absolutely electric. What a meteoric race we're having. Straight through to fourth and the obligatory push signal, obviously. And pulling up the inside of Pashley. Has she held on to it though? This is going to be so tight. No. no, she hasn't this time, but she's definitely shown Pashley what she's made of here. Two minutes, 25 on the clock, and it's going to be really tight, this battle for the victory between these three. They can't afford to lose too much ground because there's a huge train of carts from fourth down to about ninth position now, fighting away for the lead as Joe Fowler continues to run out in first position. Pashley second, Abby pulling in third. This is such a stalemate at the moment. It's up the inside. That's a Ross great Deal. move. Ross Deal up the inside. Another great move by Ross Deal. James Pashley will be getting a nosebleed. He's that far up the field here. This is the best we've seen of him this year, Jake. And it bodes well for the future. Always like to see people getting better and better. And James Pashley, look out for him at the next round of the British Championships. He could be a race winner at that level sometime this season but before then he's looking to win this and put the e-plate on his car as pulling looks up the inside yes pulling did look as though she was threatening into the Bruno Ferrari chicane I'm not quite sure she made it but into second position she is set to go if this keeps going there is Fowley a leader Pashley in second Bobby pulling third hanging on here she goes up the inside of the second position the female motor racing fraternity has been waiting for decades for somebody of this kind of talent, this kind of skill, and this kind of developmental speed to emerge into the world of motor racing. Are we seeing the emergence of the first true world-class female racing driver? Probably the first since Danica Patrick out in the States anyhow, as Leighton up the inside of Sheriff moves up in a fourth position. Abby Pulling is just one place away from being the first woman to win the Shennington Super Prix E-Play. Better than Danica Patrick, Jake. Let me just say that right up front, <laughs> she is. Uh, so Joe Fowler out front though, she's going to have it all on to displace him, what we got on the clock, so 34 seconds, so they won't get the last lap for this time, they'll get it next time round, so two to go as they cross the line, pulling needs away by, Fowler. she may look for a big switch back up in the hairpin, Jake. Fowler, yeah, Fowler's defending like crazy, he knows that Pashley and Pulling are right on him, but there's a possibility here that Pulling isn't going to need that opportunity, he, she might get it right round the outside of the hairpin, but Pashley's going to have an opportunity to shut the door, she swings back to the right, beautiful defensive work there from Pulling, she just bought herself a chance to go for the victory again, keeping Pashley at bay there was so important she now holds on to second place as the rest of the field charge through there is Fowler still defending brilliantly at the moment Joel Oswick is the man on the move having moved up nine places and he might even get a whiff of the top ten if things keep going the way they are great battles further back to look at Fowler he's practically glued to the inside line as we go into the last lap Leighton trying to defend his fourth position from Sheriff and Deal as well Abby pulling the fastest driver on the racetrack 40 Four, eight, seven for the lap and we're into the last lap what has Abby Pulling got to try and beat Fowler Pashley goes to the far left of the corner she, he's going to try and get the undercut here Pulling is boxed in behind Fowler but Pashley has to surrender one final chance here for Abby Pulling into Hanger Corner and into Wilkins can she get this move done Fowler is not going to let her get that chance down to Hanger Corner for the last time she's going to try Pashley's going to go the long way round the outside and nearly take second position off Pulling. Fowler's going to get the job done. Pulling in second, Pashley in third. What a drive from all three of them. 
any one of those three could have got the championship done and all of them would have been deserved. But Joe Fowler is the E-plate winner from Abby Pulling. James Bashley in third. Leighton Sheriff and Deal round out the top six. That could easily have gone anybody's way. An amazing finish to the race there in Junior TKM. And with the TKM Clubman's up next, be sure there's more where that came from.